What is going on all you Mullinaires out there? Appreciate y'all coming back for another video. If you are new or you've been watching the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Support it because it takes time to make these videos and I would greatly appreciate you just hitting that button. It only takes a couple seconds. In this video, let's get charged up because we already know the shorts are going to bring some pressure following the shareholder meeting on the outcome of that. So be aware that I will give you my thoughts on the price action towards end of day. Also, I am going to be sharing with you all feedback from CEO of CRTD stock, Jeremy Frommer, who reached out to me just shortly before making this video. I think people appreciate that, but I think they see that that they do bear the brunt of the risk and there is no one there to bail them out, even though- No, there was no one, no one who would bail Sammy Gensler out either. Exactly, but, that, that was my but there's always someone there to bail out the big banks and the big brokers and all those folks, and they see the unfairness within the structure of the market. And I think that's the troubling part is we have a system that talks about resilience, and yet only one side of that equation pays the full price for uncertainty. Now, that video clip was from a podcast from John Stewart with the SEC himself, Chair Gary Gensler, and they were going to be discussing problems in the market as well as any other questions that are rising out there. Also take note that CEO of CRTD, Jeremy Frommer, did actually tag Mullen stock in the list of stocks that have been attacked by Naked Short Selling. He also hashtag Naked Short War, hashtag Naked Shorts, and also Occupy SEC 2023. And he's also created a site for CEOs titled CEOblock.com, where various CEOs like these CEOs of these names listed here can come together and come up with a plan to fight against illegal naked short selling within the stock. All right, so back in December on the 22nd of 2022, I actually reached out to Jeremy Frommer and explained to him that there was some illegal naked shorting happening in Muller Automotive stock and for him to possibly reach out to David Mishery himself to get him on board some kind of way. And I also sent him a picture coming from chart exchange showing the fails to deliver data for Muller Automotive. And you can see on the chart there where Muller Automotive got over 52 million FTDs back in November. I said to him, can you please reach out to the CEO of Muller Automotive, David Mishry, and get him on board with fighting against naked shorting on undeserving companies. These short sellers need to be stopped. Naked shorting is illegal and they are destroying good companies and stealing from shareholders daily. Below shows the naked shorting on Mullen stock, white bars, as the price gets driven down the yellow line. Look how many naked shorts at the 20 to 50 cent level. Obviously I meant to say above and not below, but he actually finally reached out to me a month later saying sorry for the late reply. I am reaching out to him and I reply, thank you. Please let me know if you are able to get a response from him if he is planning on taking actions as well. The naked short crime has to be stopped. So as of today, it seems that Jeremy Frommer is actively reaching out to CEO of Mullenstock, David Mishery. And there's people out there that are wondering why David Mishery has not responded to this naked short movement. Um, even though he did sign the petition and donated $1,000, that could be a response from him right there. I know he hasn't taken any further actions as far as hiring anybody to take a deeper look into Muller Automotive's daily price action and trying to prove naked shorting in Muller Automotive stock. But that may have been his response as of right now with everything that's going on right now with Muller Automotive as far as the shareholder meeting and also the lawsuits which resulted in Mullen's favor. And also keep in mind that Roger James Hamilton, 
whom almost has a million followers on Twitter, who is also the CEO of GNS Stock, has already added Muller Automotive Stock to the list for looking into naked short selling. But the CEOs have to be willing to engage and participate in fighting against naked short selling and the illegal trading task force. And lastly, a look at the chart. You see Muller Automotive is in a gradual uptrend coming from 18 cents per share. Today, following the shareholder meeting, shorts will cause a panic here. In my opinion, retail has been holding the stock and still currently 80% ownership of Muller Automotive stock. And at 28 cents on this trend line, the stock price is trying to consolidate there, hopefully getting a bounce. But like I said, reactions from the shareholder meeting and as well as shorts trying to attack, they usually do the opposite. We would think that it would bounce up here, but they will do it opposite and try to break below just as they did back here on the stock price. You see a break below the trend line, but it came back up the next trading days. So as far as after the shareholder meeting, that 5 billion shares has a good chance of getting approved. And it really depends on the strength of the Mullineris following the negativity that happens after. You've come this far, coming off an all-time low of 18 cents per share. Muller Automotive is currently in a uptrend. Think about ahead what is coming after this shareholder meeting on down the road in 2023. A lot of good news as the CEO just posted about the other day over on Instagram, said another long day in the Mullen office lots of exciting news to come don't miss your blessing mullen fam stay charged don't feed the fear subscribe to the channel and i'm gone go go, go. Ooh. 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 Ooh.